Oh, <laughs> check out that bag. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine going to the Okie Bug back in the day, walking out with a bag full of Okie Bugs and a bag that looked like this? <laughs> Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Now, some of you may remember my recent video we did on the Don Butler Okie Bug. If you did happen to miss that episode, I will drop a link to it down below. But there I talk about and fish with perhaps one of the most famous lures <laughs> that you've never heard of. So, uh, I featured a couple of items in that episode, including this and Okie Bug original hat. And this Okie Bug jacket, which by the way says <laughs> the American Angler Pro Bass Tour 1977. I had some requests to show the back of the jacket. So here it goes. <laughs> Look at that amazing patch. Anyway, after that Okie Bug episode, I got caught in a little bit of an internet rabbit hole and somehow found my way to a gentleman by the name of Tom Butler, who is Don Butler's son. Tom said he had been cleaning out his basement and he had a number of old discontinued baits from the Okie Bug store and he was kind enough to put a package together and send it my way. I've got a couple boxes here from Mr. Tom Butler, which I have not opened yet. I've been kind of saving it for a rainy day and it just happens to be raining uh, today, so that's good. We're gonna crack open that and check out some of the old school goodies from that most iconic of tackle shops, the Okie Bug in Tulsa, Oklahoma. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing. Stick around, consider subscribing and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know we post a new video I like this one. So let's get into it. I'm going to uh, clear off some of my original Okie Bug artifacts. I'm going to get into the mail right now. Ah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for this one. I, I got to be honest with you. Um, I don't know why there is something. I know it's just a spinner bait for the most part. By the way, there's some other things I think I got in here that are not spinner baits, but I know that it's just a piece of, you know, lead a living rubber skirt, wire, and a blade. But man, every time I pick up and fish with an Okie Bug spinnerbait, it is like I've got a line hooked to bass fishing's past. So let's check this stuff out. Ah, all right. I probably don't even like need a knife for this one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use it anyway. <laughs> uh, there's already like old school goodness just spilling out of this box. Um, I do see a letter in here though. A little uh, padded envelope with nothing on it. I think I'm gonna save that for the end. It's gonna be hard to do. Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of Oki Bug Gator Bug spinner baits in here. Now, this is an interesting Okie Bug, one that I have actually not fished before, but I've been meaning to for quite some time, and I will show you a couple of these bad boys. 
Okay, so here it is. It's called the Oki Bug Gator Bug Spinner Bait. Oh, check it out. It's got the classic Oki Bug logo there. And it's the Gator Bug. Now, this is an interesting lore. Uh, it says the undulating action of the Gator Bug. Another in the family of fantastic fishing lures. It's got a unique swivel head design, incorporates the actions of both the spinnerbait and a jig into one. 24 karat gold, jewel finish, mustad needlepoint hook, worth company ball bearing swivel, and it is patent pending made in the USA. I'll let you guys get one more gander at that package in a very classic, very retro white and chartreuse. And here is the back I will show you and I'll also probably read off some of the highlights from this bad boy. The Gator Bug, uh, spotlight bait of the future. Uh, the combination of a number of things makes this a super bait when fished, as I will explain. I guess that means as Don Butler would explain. I love it by the way that he writes a personal message on the back of every lure. Uh, fish it like a normal spinnerbait, and it is better than most. Do what I'm fixing to tell you, and you will have what I believe is the single most effective bait that you can use. Contact between the angler and the bait is all important. Keep this in mind while you fish. Stay focused on the bait and what it is doing. There's a system, and I call it the gator bug flutter. Ooh. Uh, repeat to yourself. Gator bug flutter. How much you bass and buds want to bet we're going to be doing the gator bug flutter? Say that three times fast, by the way. Real soon. <laughs> Here's exactly what you do. Make your cast, and as it enters the water, engage the reel and lower the tip to the lowest point you can. And as the bait falls, keep the line tight. And occasionally, sweep the bug slightly so you can feel the flutter of the blade. In 10 feet of water, probably twice. As the bait hits the bottom, lift it lightly and start your slow retrieve. About every two or three turns of the reel, lift the bait very slightly off the bottom. You have to stay on dead ready because second chances are rare. Remember, gator bug flutter. It could be because the fish haven't seen this presentation or it resembles the action of an injured bait fish but it definitely works in all waters. All lakes have nothing coves, you know, flat, no structure, nothing. But my friend, these coves have fish, and as a rule, get no fishing pressure. Take the gator bug and start in the middle of the cove and use the method I outlined above. And normally three casts will tell you whether or not fish are holding there or not. And, for crying out loud, do not worry about the water being too deep. Below 50 feet will many times be holding fish and a whole new world of fishing for you. Ooh, if that doesn't scream Lake Travis, I don't know what does. I do not know how else to explain this bait technique for fishing it, but I will sure talk with you if you give me a call and Don lists his number, 918-782-1900. Good fishing, Don Butler. By the way, I mean, he lists his phone number on the back of a lure. That's like, gotta be the greatest thing ever. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at some of these different Oki Bug Gator Bugs that we've got. So this is a half ounce in a white and chartreuse. Ooh, this looks like a three-quarter ounce in a black and blue. Very jig-like. Ooh, this one looks like a three-eighths ounce in a fire tiger. Ooh, that's a big dog. A one ounce sort of a shad pattern. Check that out. That would totally work on some deep, rocky Texas Lake ledges. Oof! And look at that big old blade, too. Holy cow. I am digging that. Even if it can't focus. Let's 
So it looks like there are more of the same. Oh, okay. Here's one that came out of the package so I can show this to you. Oh, wow. That is a wild looking bait. So we'll start with the blade itself. There's a classic Oki Bug blade. It's actually stamped Oki Bug on it. Nice ball bearing swivel, not a Sampo. So it's got this short arm here, almost reminiscent of uh, kind of like a beetle spin or something, right? But then look at this. It swivels. And it goes this really unique cone-shaped head. It's got a little eye on it, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see that. And a single mustad hook. We'll see how sharp this bad boy is. Sharp enough that it cut the uh, guard off. Ooh, oh, look at that. That is a nice hook too. So there is nothing I've got to do to that bait. That thing is out of the package. Son, I am going to tie that on an old school combo and boy, get out there on Lake Travis ASAP with that thing. Awesome. Pretty cool, I told you. So there are a boatload of different sort of sizes and shapes of these gator bugs. Everything from, looks like it's got a quarter ounce, three eighths, half ounce, three quarters, and one ounce. Every one of them is sort of the same build though. It's a single Colorado blade and a little swivel head. Oh man. Wow, awesome. Oh, okay. Speaking of Tejas, check out that color. That is a really nice looking Texas red in a 3 8 ounce. Oh yeah. I will totally get that thing wet this spring. Awesome. All right, let's check out this box. I guess it was just too much to ship all at once. Like, I'm gonna try to cut myself with this Mora one day, I gotta tell you. There we go. Oh, there is some more Oki Bug. Holy cow goodness. Check it out. A double bladed Oki Bug buzzin' bug. Oh, wow. Classic Oki Bug logo. And of course, a nice little description from Mr. Don Butler, which you know I'm going to have to read. The Buzzin' Bug. No other style of fishing creates more excitement than topwater buzz baits. This is true. While there's no cut and dry method for fishing a buzz bait, here are some tips that are proven to work. Cast the bait out and just before it hits the water, start your retrieve. Get it to the surface quickly. Some days fast and some days slow. Remember to get your bait to the surface as quickly as you can and vary the speed until you find out how they want it. Bass, pike, muskies will all come a long distance to see what's invading their water. A good noisy bait will pull fish 24 hours a day. Bright, sunny, bluebird days will produce fish at high noon sometimes. Do not limit your buzzing to early morning and late evening. Night fisher persons can enjoy the same exciting fishing with a buzz bait. Where possible, trailer hooks are advisable. They're extremely important on small buzz baits, probably because they have small hooks. Okie Bug has been the most complete line of spinner baits on the market, all of them designed by seasoned fisher persons. It is our feeling that sound and size are more important than color. I would agree with that. When fishing a buzz bait, a good rule of thumb is light colors on bright days, dark colors on dark days. On extremely clear water, use a fast retrieve, and murky water, use a slow retrieve. 
and Muddy Water Slow and Noisy Retrieve. Thanks for selecting the Okie Bug. American Proud, Don Butler. Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome. Let's see what other Okie Bug goodness we've got in this box. So here's a 3 8 ounce buzzin' bug, and I love this bait. I just, the double blades are really cool. It's an old school profile of blade that you don't see too much anymore. It's almost got a Bass Pro Shops, a shoestring de bois tornado style head as well. We'll have to crack open some of these. Oof, buzzin' bug in silver with more of a standard classic looking blade. Wow, look at that, like a knocker. <laughs> a little silver ball there. I bet that thing makes a holy racket. <laughs> These are gonna be tough to keep in the package. Another double bladed buzzing bug. Wow, that's a good looking bait. Um, I'm definitely gonna crack a couple of those open and give them a whirl. Ooh. Wow, some really classic looking oaky bug spinner baits in here. Check out this, it's a half ounce oaky bug. And that is old school gold, holy cow. Nice little fire tiger, half ounce. It's got a single silver willow and a gold Colorado blade. Ooh, I love that head shape too. That's a really cool head shape. Um, and of course the packaging is just out of this world. Ooh, there's another one in black. This little bit of a midnight special look to it, huh? Sort of a shad pattern there. Oh, and by the way, there's a uh, new message from Mr. Don Butler on the back of this one as well. It says, to my fishing friends, a spinnerbait fishing like any other style of fishing is science. I just love these messages from Don on the back of these baits. Remember these basics and it will help you select the proper bait for the circumstances on the water. Remember, there are five reasons the spinnerbait is effective. I don't know that I could name those. Uh, number one, size, color, flash, vibration, and last but not least, speed. Huh, size, color, flash, vibration, and speed, okay. When on any trip, if you have the right combination of these factors, you need no other bait, which probably is why he won the Bassmaster Classics fishing only an Okie Bug spinnerbait. The only thing you need uh, to be responsible for is speed. There is a combination of these five factors that will on any given day, on any given body of water, catch fish. A rule of thumb to remember is the more turbid the waters, the more all the factors must be increased. From there, each diminishes. Try on each trip to find the right combination and a spinnerbait will become a good friend. Don Butler, thank you for supporting Okie Bug. America proud. <laughs> so much coolness. Ooh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, wow, I don't know what this is. Um, okay, so this is an Okie Bug one ounce. I don't even know what that is. It's got a rattle and a blade. Look at that. So I see a standard skirt, one ounce head. It's got like a mini buzz bait sort of whopper plopper. It's got like a mini buzz bait whopper plopper style 
blade there, a rattle, and a willow leaf. I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. More of a classic oaky bug with the double. That doesn't even look like a Colorado blade. It looks more like a, I don't know if that's an Indiana blade or very teardropped looking blade there, huh? Awesome. Oh, check this out. Oaky Bug Tailspin, 3 8 ounce. Look at that. It almost looks like a spin right, doesn't it? <laughs> That's really cool. All right, one more left. <laughs> this is going to be like one of those episodes I think I watch back, just because my mind is just blown by what I'm seeing today. Holy cow. What is this? Extra large. What is this? This looks like a new in the package sweatshirt. It says, I'll have to look at that. 1995 Bassmasters Superstars Tournament, Illinois River, Peora, Illinois. What the heck? I can only imagine that this is a sweatshirt that Don Butler must have gotten from maybe fishing that tournament. Holy cow. Um, from the 1995 Bassmaster Superstars Tournament. Ugh. I'm gonna have to ask Tom more about the history of this amazing artifact. Holy cow. That is awesome. <laughs> and there's a note as well. It says, Chris, this is my copy of my BASS charter membership dated March 25th, 1969. I was 14. If memory serves me correctly, I purchased this by pouring a couple of hundred slip sinkers and painting them bright candy apple colors, which was a fad at the time. I'm not sure how important this is, but it's just something I found and thought you might like a copy. Mr. Tom Butler. Oh, look at that. Well, so what is so cool about this and signed by Ray Scott and why I'm totally pumped to have your copy of this Bass Angler Sports and Society membership dated March 25th of 1969 is that Don Butler was the first ever numero uno member of the Bass Angler Sports and Society. So honestly that I've got his son's um, <laughs> membership as well is pretty darn cool. <sighs> Time to open this bad boy. <laughs> what? The Retro Wagon is about to get some new old school stickers. Holy cow, look at that. Oh, that is an original. That looks like a 10 inch or 8 inch Okie Bug sticker. Two of them, in fact. Son, that is totally going on the Retro Wagon. <sighs> Out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little retro rabbit hole that we went down this week. <sighs> I'm definitely going to geek out watching the footage of this one. Until next time, as Don Butler would say, America proud and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bastards.